हर साल डेंगुए बुखार का रोदन लोगों को प्रभावित करता है लेकिन क्या आप जानते हैं इन डेंगुए क्या है This mosquito borne illness has touched lives far and wide from the bustling streets of Southeast Asia to the vast urban sprawls of Latin America. It's not just a tropical disease. Its reach extends into more temperate regions, making it a global concern. Understanding dengue is crucial as it affects millions each year, disrupting lives and overwhelming health systems. Aaiye samajhte hain dengue bukhar ke mool karan aur uske lakshan. Dengue bukhar एक विराल बीमारी है जो एडिस माखार के खातने से फैलती है एडिस मस्कीटोज प्राइमरीली एडिस एजिप्टी आर द नोटोरियस वेक्टर्स ऑफ दिस डिजीज दीज मस्कीटोज आर इजिली रेकग्नाइजेबल बाई द डिस्टिंगटिव व्हाइट स्ट्राइप्स ऑन देर लेग्स एंड बॉडी अ बिट लाइक देर ड्रेस्ट फॉर अ मैस्करेड ऑल ईयर राउंड बट मेक नो मिस्टेक देर इज नथिंग फेस्टिव अबाउट द डिजीज दे स्प्रेड द ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ डेंगे इज क्वाइट स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड बट नो लेस अलार्मिंग फॉर इट्स सिंप्लिसिटी When an Aedes mosquito bites a person infected with the dengue virus, it becomes a carrier. This infected mosquito then bites another person and voila, the virus finds a new host. This cycle continues propagating the virus through populations, especially in crowded urban environments. Now, dengue viruses themselves come in four different types known as serotypes. These are creatively named dengue virus 1, 2, 3 and 4. Each type can cause dengue fever and unfortunately having recovered from one type doesn't grant immunity against the others. In fact, subsequent infections by different serotypes can increase the risk of developing severe dengue, which can be life-threatening. The rapid spread of dengue is favored by tropical and subtropical climates where Aedes mosquitoes thrive. Warm temperatures, regular rainfall. It's the perfect storm for mosquitoes to breed. and for dengue to flourish this is why dengue is predominantly a concern in regions like southeast asia latin america and parts of africa however global travel and climate change are nudging the boundaries of dengue further afield making it a global concern understanding the dynamics of dengue transmission is crucial because it lays the foundation for preventing and controlling outbreaks Measures like controlling mosquito populations and preventing bites are paramount in battling this disease. To jab dengue itna aam hai, iske lakshan kya hain? Aye ye jan. Dengue ke lakshan flu jais hote hain, lekin kabi kabi ye aur bhi gambir roop le sakte hain. Imagine feeling the onset of what seems like a typical flu, but then the symptoms intensify, signaling something far more concerning: dengue fever. This illness transmitted by the bite of an infected Aedes mosquito starts with a high fever often reaching up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The fever is usually the first sign, setting the stage for more symptoms to unfold. As the fever climbs, a severe headache might ensue, often described as feeling a crushing pain around the skull. This isn't your ordinary headache and can be quite debilitating. Accompanying the headache, there's often significant pain behind the eyes. It's almost as if every movement of the eye intensifies the discomfort, making everyday activities like scrolling through your phone or watching television almost impossible. But the symptoms don't stop there. Dengue fever can also cause profound muscle and joint pain. This pain isn't just a mild ache. It's often so severe that it earns the nickname breakbone fever. The joints and muscles feel as if they are being twisted and crushed, making even the slightest movements painful. A striking symptom that differentiates dengue from a common flu is the appearance of a rash. This rash might start as isolated patches of red marks, which can spread and merge to cover larger areas of the body. The skin might feel itchy and hot to the touch, adding to the overall discomfort. Now, while these symptoms are severe enough, it's crucial to be vigilant for signs of severe dengue, which can be life-threatening. These include severe abdominal pain, persistent vomiting, and rapid breathing the presence of blood in vomit or stools is another red flag indicating an urgent need for medical intervention if you or someone you know starts exhibiting these symptoms especially after a mosquito bite in a dengue prevalent area seeking immediate medical help is critical the progression from mild to severe dengue can be fast and without proper treatment it can lead to severe complications or even be fatal अगर आपको ये लक्षण दिखाई दे तो तुरंत मेडिकल मदद लेना जरूरी है पर प्रिवेंशन इज बेटर देन क्योर है ना डेंगू से बचाव संभव है अगर सही कदम उठाए जाए
Dengue fever, a menacing vector-borne disease, has been a significant cause of illness in many tropical and subtropical regions around the world. Fortunately, there are several effective ways to prevent the disease, primarily focusing on reducing mosquito exposure. The first and foremost preventive step is to minimize the risk of mosquito bites. Mosquitoes that carry the dengue virus are most active from dawn to dusk, but it's important to remain vigilant at all times. Using mosquito repellents containing DEET, picaridin, or oil of lemon eucalyptus can provide long-lasting protection against mosquito bites. These repellents are safe and effective for most individuals, including children and pregnant women, when used according to the product instructions. In addition to repellents, wearing long-sleeved shirts and long pants can create a physical barrier against mosquitoes. Clothes may also be treated with permethrin, a repellent and insecticide for added protection. At home, using air conditioning or window and door screens can help keep mosquitoes out. For added security, especially during sleep, mosquito nets impregnated with insecticide offer effective protection. Another critical aspect of dengue prevention involves controlling the mosquito population by eliminating their breeding sites. Aedes mosquitoes, the primary vector for dengue, breed in stagnant water. Regularly inspecting and removing any standing water from containers such as flower pots, buckets, barrels and old tires is essential. This practice not only protects individual households but also contributes to broader community health. Community-wide efforts are equally important in the fight against dengue. Organizing cleanup drives to clear trash that can collect rainwater and educating neighbors about the importance of maintaining a clean environment can amplify individual efforts. Some communities have successfully implemented biological control measures, such as introducing fish that eat mosquito larvae into water bodies. Governments play a crucial role in dengue prevention as well. Many have launched initiatives to fumigate areas to kill adult mosquitoes and regularly spray insecticides in high-risk areas. Public health campaigns aiming to raise awareness about the dangers of dengue and the importance of community cooperation in eradicating mosquito breeding sites are also vital. Despite these efforts, vigilance and adaptation according to the local mosquito population and the effectiveness of ongoing strategies are crucial. Each layer of protection, from personal repellents to community and governmental initiatives, forms a shield that can significantly reduce the risk of dengue. By understanding and implementing these preventive measures, the battle against dengue can be effectively fought. It's about taking proactive steps, both small and large, from wearing repellent to participating in community cleanup efforts. Simple steps apna ka aap aur aap ke parivar dengue se surakshit reh sakte hain. Halanki dengue ka koi setha upcharna hi hai, kuch treatments or vaccines available hain. When someone is diagnosed with dengue fever, the primary approach is supportive care. This means the treatment mainly helps relieve the symptoms and includes hydration, managing fever and pain relief. It's crucial to drink plenty of fluids to prevent dehydration, a common complication of dengue. Fever can be managed with over-the-counter fever reducers, but it's important to avoid aspirin as it can worsen bleeding complications associated with severe dengue. In more severe cases, where dengue develops into dengue hemorrhagic fever or dengue shock syndrome, immediate medical attention is necessary. Treatment in a hospital setting might include intravenous fluid supplementation, blood transfusions, and close monitoring of blood pressure and vital signs. On the front of prevention, there's promising news in the form of dengue vaccines. As of now, one vaccine, Dengvaxia, has been approved in several countries for individuals aged 9 to 45 living in dengue endemic regions. However, it's recommended primarily for those who have had a previous infection, as it can increase the risk of severe dengue in those who haven't been infected before. Researchers continue to work on other vaccines that can offer broader protection and safety. It's evident that while managing dengue can be challenging, significant strides have been made in both treatment and prevention. Consulting with healthcare professionals and getting timely medical care can dramatically reduce the risks associated with severe outcomes of the disease. Hamesha yaad rakhain samay par doctor se consult karna dengue ke gambir parinam se bacha sakta hai, to dengue bukhar se ladna itna mushkil na hi jab sahi jankari ho. Let's quickly recap the essentials we've covered about dengue fever. Starting with the basics, dengue is a mosquito-borne illness that can range from mild to severe flu-like symptoms. 
Recognizing the symptoms early on such as high fever, severe headache, pain behind the eyes, muscle and joint pains, and rash can be crucial for timely treatment. Prevention, as we discussed, is predominantly about controlling mosquito exposure. This includes using mosquito repellent, wearing long sleeves and pants, and ensuring water doesn't stagnate around living areas to prevent mosquito breeding. Community efforts such as cleanliness drives and public awareness campaigns play a significant role in controlling the spread of dengue. Furthermore, while there is a vaccine available, it's generally recommended for those who have been previously infected with dengue. Treatment, as emphasized, focuses on supportive care that includes staying hydrated and medical supervision. Dengue se la dai main, apki awareness, hai apka sabse bada hatiyar hai, surakshit rahein, satark rahein.